Hey, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams Realty, and my focus is to keep you current on all things real estate. So that way, when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in your own uh, real estate goals, you will make a good decision. Today, I've been asked if the real estate market is turning around, so I wanted to just chat with you a little bit about that. First of all, according to the Realtors Confidence Index, which gathers monthly information about real estate transactions to provide sort of an on-the-ground information source, there are several indicators that actually do point to a turnaround of the housing market. First, uh, the buyer traffic index has improved to 50 after having dipped to a low of 30 in April. And foot traffic has a very strong correlation with future contracts um, and home sales. So it can be viewed as a peak ahead at the sales trend, maybe two to three months in the future. Overall, home showings in May were down about 20% compared to May of 2019. So far in June, I think we're up about 6.6% over the same time last year. And overall, we're up actually 39% above the pre-pandemic uh, valley, let's say. This is a good sign for sure uh, for the future health of Utah's real estate market. Interestingly, a higher fraction of sales closed just based on virtual tours or virtual showings with 9% of sales closed based on virtually showing homes. This is based on buyer's agent feedback, by the way, nationally. The COVID-19 has changed the way that buyers purchase. It has also changed the way that sellers sell. So having a high-end virtual tour and virtual showings have become very, very important to the selling and buying process. And this may be a trend that doesn't actually fade away anytime soon. Also, based upon data that's released from the National Association of Realtor, home prices are expected to rise in Utah by two to 3% in 2020. That's incredible given the ongoing pandemic and most certainly is a testament to the health of Utah's economy. So while we are still uncertain how COVID-19 will continue to change the landscape of housing and the economy beyond a three month uh, threshold, uh, previously, this is determined by foot traffic, by the way. Our current housing market is actually healthier than the majority of the nation. Also, Utah ranked number six in mobility last year, with one in six residents changing their location. About 400,000 Utahns changed homes within the state and another 100,000 immigrated from other states. And as you can imagine, most of our immigration is coming from California. I hear that all the time, but I also want to let you know that we have a, a huge uh, immigration from Idaho, Washington State, Texas, and Oregon as well. So employment, obviously a huge driver for uh, immigration. So let's hope that Utah continues to hold lower levels of unemployment through the COVID-19 pandemic. Here it is kind of in a nutshell on a bumper sticker, if you will. Showings are up. The amount of properties a buyer looks at before purchasing a home is down. More buyers are buying their homes based on virtual showings or virtual tours in general. Listing volume is definitely down as uncertainty has led many sellers to sort of wait until the dust settles. Um, and accompanied by a strong local economy has caused price pressure on home price uh, homes rather priced under eight, uh, 350,000 with more than 80% of properly priced homes in that price range receiving multiple offers. That can indeed be frustrating for buyers. Finally, because of these factors, we're actually likely to see an increase in average price by two to 3% even during a recession. We shall see. Again, we can only predict out maybe two to three months at a time, and I'm gonna continue to keep you posted on this blog, but please don't hesitate to call me, email me directly with any questions that you might have about the market or to discuss your own personal real estate goals.